Okay, here we go. Let's jump. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, here we go. Welcome to the Oasis. My name's Mike, and today I'm going to be playing Defector on the Oculus Rift S. Now, Defector has been one of my most anticipated VR titles for a long while, so I've been really looking forward to this one, and it finally launched today, the 11th of July, as an Oculus Rift exclusive. Thanks to Oculus and Twisted Pixel for allowing me early access to the game so I could make this video for the launch for you guys and girls. In this video, I'll be playing through the first mission of the game, and then at the end of the video, I'll give you my review of the full game. Now, despite how good this first mission looks, you might want to see what I have to say about the rest of the game before you pull the trigger on this one. I'll make sure there's a timestamp in the description down below so you can jump straight to my review once you've seen enough gameplay. Hope you guys and girls enjoy this one, and without further ado, let's dive in. <laughs> Here we are in the first level of Defector. We're in this very fancy bathroom of a plane right now, 20,000 feet above the Caribbean Sea. We're playing the role of a secret agent on an important mission to recover a device that has been stolen by a very evil dude by the name of Pascal. Now, it wouldn't be a sort of secret agent adventure unless we had some awesome gadgetry at our disposal, and we've got this earpiece here which we can just slot straight into our ear to help us communicate with headquarters and then we've got this contact lens which will give us lots of information in our view in this overlay that's popping up here now I'm not a big fan of overlays and HUDs in game but this one works with the context of the game you've got your health on your left and some mission objectives that will pop up during the game so let's exit the bathroom and you can see here that we're on a plane like I said earlier you can see the big jet engine there in the clouds I'm not a massive fan of flying so this is going to be pretty interesting <laughs> <laughs> Let's go through the cabin. These are Pascal's henchmen in the cabin here. We can approach any one of these guys and get more intel about them. Uh, this one says that he's highly distrusting of most people, which is probably about right if you're an evil henchman for sure. Mr. John Bodek. What about this guy over here? <laughs> After being banned from the magic community, he became a merc and now travels the world in search of adventure. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Mr. Marshall Womack. Okay, let's go and talk to this, uh, this guard. Gotta pat you down again. Raise your arms, please. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> easy Saw there, Tiger. <laughs> wants to try the gun. You're rocking a good look, by the way, dude. Very good look. Bald head, beard, it's a strong look. Alright, you're cool. Go on I appreciate in. another bearded man. Nice job. Check out this place. <laughs> Pascal's not short of a quid or two. Very, very nice. He's even got this badass car in the hold of his plane. Our dinner has been served. It's definitely not a British Airways flight, that is for sure. Let's go and say hello. The man, the legend, the myth, that is Pascal. Sup, dude. Please, join me. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Well, so we've got some dialogue options here. Uh, let's see, what do we want? Um, rumor has it that you have a shipment for the Kilontra rebels. Yes. Ah, the direct approach. Oh yeah. And neither do I, Mr. Pascal. But I'm afraid this conversation has already run its course before even finishing. Oh really? Wilson, how much longer? Mm. <laughs> there. He doesn't even we flinch. Have... 20 minutes to complete this. That's how evil he is. Meal. Doesn't even flinch when I throw cheese at his head. Came about this information <laughs> about my deal with the hmm. Let's try and intimidate him a little bit, I guess. I beat the information out of their squad leader. That's how I know. Is this one capable of such a thing? Hmm. <laughs> hey. I think not. You're seeing these guns? Seen these guns? I keep my ear to the ground, same as you. Cut from the same cloth, are we? Yes. Why should I risk my reputation and sell you something that is already spoken for? 
Hmm. Maybe because I've already wired triple the asking price into one of your offshore accounts. Oh yes. It's true. Go see for yourself. Let's go check, Darn. Thanks! <laughs> now I have to hack into Pascal's account and make it look like you transferred the funds. The tech in your contact lens can locate areas of interest. Use your index finger and touch your temple to activate it. Ooh, that's cool. Oh wait, there's a safe there. And there's a briefcase here. Hey, what's this? Shock ring? I haven't seen one of those in a while. That might come in useful later. You can instantly disable anyone in touch with it. Just what have we got here? Some emails. Ah, wait, safe code 1026. Okay. Oh wait, and I think there's a button here. Oh, quickly, 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 quickly. 1026. That was so close. Remember that it carries extremely limited ammo. It's <sighs> <laughs> Ooh, that was very close. <sighs> Did you get your funds, Mr. Pascal? You. Tell me. You were not bluffing. No. no you were not. No. <sighs> it's all there as you said it was. I never bluff. I'm a man of my word. You're going to tell me where the shipment is right now. What I'm going to do is give you a tour of the outside of my plane. Oh, <laughs> plot twist. She's a double agent. She works for me. So how about you start talking, telling me where the shipment is, dude. Oh, what? The shipment is on the other plane. We're on the wrong plane, Michelle. Jesus. Yeah, I've had enough of you, mate. Knock him out. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Michelle. So this is where you get some branching in the storyline of the first level. You can choose to go uh, through the plane yourself, or you can go out of the plane through the door with our friend here. It's up to you. I'm going to show you both methods and I'll rewind after the first one. So let's just go and I'll find another way off the plane. You can go and Understood. keep Pascal alive. Enjoy your trip, Pascal. See you on the ground. Let's go. Oh yeah. Headshot! <laughs> that was cool. Secret agent time. Reload. Nice. What if we shoot the fire extinguisher? See you, buddy. He's gonna get sucked out of the plane. <laughs> that was brilliant. Uh oh, that is awesome. Let's try some of the uh, the attachment that we uh, unlocked, we found in the safe. Let's give this a whirl. Oh, ho, ho. he blew into a thousand pieces. That was awesome. Oh God! Oh, ho, ho, ho. You mess with the wrong guy, buddy. You mess with the wrong guy. Bring it on. I respect you because you got a beard. But I will knock you out. I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. Oh. Oh. Yeah. You like that? You like a bit of that, do you? Oh, yeah. How about you check yourself out in the mirror, dude? Oh, yeah. Dude, you got bits of glass in your face and everything. That's not good. That's gonna. That's gonna hurt for sure. I think it's time for you to cool off. <laughs> that was cool. Thanks for the key, dude. It's down here. Looks clear. Not sure what you're thinking the escape plan is, but I'd recommend using the scanner in your lenses. There might be something down here you can use. Good plan, Duran. Okay, what's this? Let's see what this is. Cargo door. Sounds like a great idea. Oh yeah. Oh yes. 
Let's do this. <laughs> Hell yeah. This is what I've been waiting for. Let's get this show on the road. Put it into drive. Accelerate. Go. Oh, oh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh. You cheeky bastard. <laughs> See ya. Whoa. Okay, now we're going to show you the other route which you could take, which is if we both jump off the plane together. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, here we go. Let's jump. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. Whoa. Here we go. Oh, oh my god. We're climbing the side of this falling plane. This is crazy. Long reach. Oh, don't look down. Never look down. That's a bad idea. Always. Long stretch. Oh. Oh my god. I told you I didn't like flying. This is why. <laughs> oh. Come on. We can do it. Oh wait, she's got the shipment. Bingo. Yes. We got it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh yeah. Let's go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Say hello to my little friend. Yes. Boom. This gun is cool. I like this gun. This bit feels very arcadey. Way over the top action, but that's fun. <laughs> yes. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, oh, mate. Oh, mate. You got some flames on you there. See you later. <laughs> It's time to jump. Ladies first. Ah, god damn it! I always gotta go first. Here we go. Here we go. Oh! That's a cool way to end a mission. Just watching the fireworks. Hi. Okay, so that's my playthrough of the first level of Defector, and I have to say I thoroughly enjoyed this first level. The set pieces, the action, and the pacing all were spot on. Sadly though, the rest of the game just doesn't live up to that first mission, and it all kind of goes a bit downhill from there. Now I'll try and keep this spoiler free as possible, just in case you still want to play the game yourself. Now there are five missions in total, and the game took me around four hours to complete. Now, before I get into the criticism of the game, I just want to say up front, I really wanted to like this game. I've been looking forward to it for such a long time, and I really enjoyed Twisted Pixel's previous game, Wilson's Heart. But sadly, this game just feels like it derailed halfway through its development, and it just never quite got back on track. Now, the pacing slows down significantly in the second and third mission, but to be honest, I didn't have a problem with that. I didn't mind the long dialogue trees and uh, the sort of pacing of those levels. That was fine. Also in those missions, there was a lot of variety in the gameplay mechanics, such as interrogation, uh, gambling, climbing, shooting, and chasing suspects, which was really, really awesome. But sadly, it's just the last two missions that just ruined the whole experience for me. They introduced these robots that kind of resemble Cylons from Battlestar Galactica and just fighting these robots just isn't fun. And then the varied mechanics 
slow down and you tend to use the same gadget over and over again and then you kind of that's interspersed between these kind of dull boring shootouts with enemies and robots and also the story just kind of loses its way up until the ending which is just straight up ridiculous and left me confused and disappointed it's just it's just such a shame I do like that there are optional objectives which unlock additional rewards which can add replayability to the game but really the only level you want to replay is the first one because the branching paths in that level are so different and both parts are really fun to play. Sadly, that just can't be said for the subsequent levels. Now, it feels like this game's been in development for such a long time and I'm really surprised that this is kind of the product that we got at the end. And I wonder if there was some pressure to finish the game so the last two levels were kind of rushed through. I really don't know, but that's kind of how it feels to me. But that is Defector. It ends up being a disappointed game despite getting off to a great start. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Were you looking forward to Defector? Have you played it yet? What did you think of it? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Leave a like if you like this video and you found it useful. Make sure you're subscribed for all my future content. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.